Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rosa? I am fine, teacher. Okay, nice. Nice. I'm glad to see you tonight. <laughs> How was your day? Yeah. Uh, a little gone. Okay. A little of work. Okay. But you were okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's best. <laughs> okay. It's best today. <laughs> okay. It was good today. Okay. Good. Was it was it raining where you work? Yeah. Was, was it raining? Yeah. Raining. Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. Because around here, yes, it was raining today in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was raining. Raining. Ah, yes, raining. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. In the afternoon. In okay. the afternoon. Raining. Okay. okay. Did you get wet or you had an umbrella? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, umbrella. One, uh, umbrella. Uh, umbrella. Yeah, you had an umbrella. umbrella. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, I have only one umbrella now because I, I, I lost two, two of them this year. So, oh God, we have to buy and buy umbrellas as, as if you buy food now when, in the rain, oh. raining. Yeah, in the raining season. Oh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about you? How many umbrellas do you have? I I like I, I like raining. <laughs> uh, you like raining? Okay, very you like the rain. Very good. Now tell me, um, you have umbrellas, right? Yes. Okay, then how many umbrellas do you have? How yeah. many? And two, two, two umbrellas. Two umbrellas. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> nice. I have only one. I have only one. Can't you imagine? This is, uh, I need it. I need to buy, buy another one because I, I lose every time I'm losing the umbrellas. I live, I, I, I am always leaving them behind, right? And I forget about the umbrella and I live and I forget the umbrella when, wow. yeah, when it is not raining. <laughs> yeah. Only when it, it, it rains, then you remember about the umbrella. <laughs> yes, you're right. That's interesting. Hello, everyone. Hello, Maria Fernanda. Hello, Fausto. How are you tonight? Okay, well, I think we're going to give only two more minutes to start because um, we need to cover a lot of, of topics tonight. Okay, dear people, we're going to start just saying the class objective for tonight. Um, tonight, we're going to learn how to finish a conversation, but using gerunds. We're going to start learning about gerunds. We're going to know what they are and how to use gerunds tonight, okay? Now, let me go directly. Okay, let me go directly. And let me just show the activities, okay, that we are gonna have. We're gonna 
have a feedback exercise. And then uh, we are having a speaking activity. Then we are having a discussion of a uh, topic. And then we are going to have a written activity in our manuals. And then we are going to make um, a, summer, a summary, okay? Now, let's see. First of all, do you remember what were we learning yesterday? Do you remember about these adjectives? Okay. What did we study yesterday? Can you tell me, please? What were we talking about yesterday? Maria Fernanda? Rita? Uh, okay, Maria Fernanda, good. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, yesterday, we talking about adjectives and they use such and, and so. Okay, correct. And we were saying that we use so with adjectives, right? We use so followed um, by an adjective, right? Okay, this is the correct use of so. Why, why do we use these two words? Why do we use so and why do we use such? Why? What are they used for? What are they used for? So and such. Why do we use these words? Uh, I remember uh, so when is uh, general and such when is more specific. Okay, yes, it's correct. But we use so and such when we want to express an emphasis, right? when we want to make it greater, okay? When we want this to be emphasized, they, the characteristic that I'm talking about, uh, it's incomparable, okay? It doesn't have any comparison. So we say so, and so we can replace that word with which words? Hmm? Which words replace so? Really? Uh huh. And what other word replace replaces so? Very. Okay. We could say, for example, Rosa is very creative. Okay. But we want to express that in that in a very um, in a very good way. We can use so to say Rosa is so creative. She has no comparison in that. Okay, she is so creative. Um, let's think about uh, Rita, for example. We could say. Uh, Rita is very loyal, right? We can replace that. Rita is so loyal, okay? And then it provides a result of, of something, right? For example, uh, we could say Rita is so loyal that she got, she uh, were promoted this month, right? She, she is so loyal that she was promoted, okay? Ella es tan leal que a, ahorita le dieron un nuevo puesto más arriba, ¿verdad? She was that, so she can receive a result 
of being that way, right? So we use so and we use such. They are grammarly different, okay? Grammarly different. Now let's think about the adjectives we have here. Okay, let's read this list. Can you please activate your audio and start reading this list, please, for me? I'm sorry, here. Mm -hmm. This list, everybody, please. Reading this list aloud. One, two, and three. Creative, okay? Creative. Next. Imaginative. 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 Yes. Imaginative. Delightful. 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 Beautiful. Delightful. Beautiful. 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 Oh, thank Beautiful. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Beautiful. Terrific. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, terrific. 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 Yes. Terrific. Next one. Interesting. 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 Okay, and this one? Calm. 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 Do you know the meaning of all these adjectives? Do you know the meaning of all of them? Uh, only delightful. 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 delightful, like something good, uh, something pleasant, okay? Something pleasant, mm -hmm. desirable, friendly. excuse me? Friendly. Oh, friendly, it's a very good one, yes. And what will be the opposite of friendly? Just let me get there. Friendly is a very good adjective, right? Friendly. Okay. What do you think it would be the, the opposite of friendly? Um, to write it down here. Uh-huh. We use a prefix, okay, unfriendly. Unfriendly. Okay. Unfriendly or non-friendly. Okay. There we are. So this is what I want to... Uh, happy. Uh -huh. happy. Happy, yes. Happy, good. So happy, what will be the opposite of happy or the negative of happy? Unhappy. Unhappy, it's a very good one, yes. But there is one, okay. Unhappy is a very mm, similar, similar of sad okay happy the opposite is sad right now we can have adjectives that are positive adjectives that are negative let's think about for example on um let, let, let's think about someone in our family that is that that has maybe a negative characteristic can you give me an example of a sentence talking about a person but an, in using a negative adjective can you give me an example of a sentence using a negative ad adjective We usually don't like a, uh, don't like talking about uh, negative characteristics, characteristics, right? H have you ever seen that? 
maybe a gossip person loves to, but usually a good person doesn't like to talk about bad characteristics or bad adjectives, right? For example, you are not always saying, oh, that girl is horrible, that girl is awful, or maybe um, that's a bad, a bad man, right? We usually don't don't like to talk about our co-workers um, describing them in a negative way, right? We usually don't like to, but, but we can talk about, for example, strategies, right? Strategies. Uh, I think we are out of the, okay. About uh, strategies. What do you think about a bad strategy at your job? Go say strategy. Mm -hmm. That strategy is so uncreative, right? For example, that strategy is so uncreative or we could use another like sterile, right? Sterile or unproductive, right? Uh, because we have productive here and we have sterile, right? Sterile. So we could say that strategy is so, we could say unproductive, okay? Or sterile. Okay, it's not producing a good result, right? Correct. For example, yesterday we were reading an article and we can tell um, a bad, I mean, your opinion, but with negative adjectives, right? Maybe you didn't like the article, you didn't like the article. Uh, we could say that article was so, um, let's say, what can we say? So boring, okay? Okay, so boring. What is boring? Boring is the opposite of interesting, okay? Boring is the opposite of interesting, okay? Así que podríamos utilizar adjetivos de manera negativa expresando nuestra opinión sobre algo, ¿verdad? Utilizando so y utilizando such. Now, let's change this sentences into uh, new sentences using such. Can you help me with that, please? Can you help me transforming this or giving me more examples using such and these adjectives? Let's try with this one, number one. Let's try with number one. I'm going to start, okay? That's such an uncreative strategy, okay? We have the noun here and an adjective. So we can use such only with the noun, but it's better if we use it with the adjective and the noun, okay? The adjective and the noun. Now let's say about the article something using such. Okay, who can help me? Uh, 
Uh huh. Don't be afraid, everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's talk about the article. Ah, we could say. Uh huh. That should, should, uh -huh. and in worry, worry. Boring, yes, such a boring article. Good, excellent. So you see, we can give our opinion also using bad adjectives or negative adjectives, okay? Negative adjectives. You can use that and you are uh, continuously using the adjectives giving opinions, okay? Giving opinions about something and also describing. Yesterday we said only describing. Today we're talking about giving opinions, right? Giving opinions when we describe something about, for example, an adjective or an strategy in our company, okay? We are using adjectives. Correct. Do you have any question about this? Me, teacher. Tell me. The, the adjective is used to describe a um, um, person or an um, causes. I mean. Yes, we can describe a person. Okay. We can describe animals, right? We can describe things. It doesn't matter what you want to describe. You use adjectives to describe them. Okay. Okay. For, for example, if I have, if I go to the supermarket or to the store, and I'm out of the store, and I see the X product, I can say that product. It's so ugly, for example. Yes, correct, correct. Okay. That product, excellent, is so ugly. Good, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, imagine that you went to the supermarket and you had a problem. Maybe, maybe the cashier forgot to give you the change. Maybe she forgot to give you the change. Imagine in your mind, what, what can you say? For example, maybe you don't think that she forgot. Maybe you think that she wrote, right? She took that money from you. Let's think about the reality, right? So you could say the cashier, okay, was so dishonest, right? or was so awful, yeah? Imagine that she was not kind. She was not kind. Maybe not about the money. Maybe about the treatment. Maybe she didn't greet you, okay? Maybe she didn't hello, welcome. Uh, do you need the invoice or do you need uh, just a ticket, right? Then you could say, Maybe she was she, kind of angry, right? Doing her job, <laughs> she was angry. And then you could say, they, you could say, the cashier. So uh huh. Unfriendly. unfriendly. Okay, so unfriendly. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So you can you can express that about the cashier too. Or maybe let's imagine, let's imagine about um, you want to buy a car, for example. You want to buy a car and you go to the um, um, uh, maybe you go, um, what can I say about that? Uh, the car lot, okay, the car parking lot. Maybe you want to buy a used car, okay? Then uh, they show you um, a car and they say this is the best car you could have and 
but you don't like the color, you don't like how it looks, then you say, oh, that car is so ugly, okay? We could say, maybe that car is so awful, okay? Awful, maybe it's dirty, okay? Maybe it's dirty, then you say it's awful, okay? Now, maybe you could say horrible, okay? That car is so horrible. Because you don't like it, right? You don't like it. You get it? So we're talking about a thing, okay? Now, thinking about an animal. Thinking about an animal. Yesterday, Rosa told us something. She said, my dog is so fluffy, right? Yeah, my dog is so fluffy, right? So esponjadito, right? Fluffy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, my, you can describe animals. You can describe things like strategy, article, um, like roses, like flowers, like uh, rocks, furniture, whatever you want to describe, you are going to use adjectives, Okay. Now, let's continue, guys. Let's continue and let's go and see. Let's go and see. This was just a feedback from yesterday, okay? This was just a feedback from yesterday. Uh, just let me uh, say something about this because we wanted to write sentences correctly and also the adjectives correctly, okay? So in this case, let's see. We were saying about the opposite of something. For example, the opposite of creative, it is? Okay. Uncreative, right? We use this pre prefix, okay? Un, right? Un. We can use another prefix. Let's see. Let's see. Honest. Ah, we could say? So dishonest. Ah, we use another prefix, right? Let's remember that. Let's remember that. But there are others, there are others that they have a very specific opposite. Okay, so let's try to learn and add those to our vocabulary. For example, if we say beautiful, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, what what is the opposite of beautiful? It's not unbeautiful. We uh, That's not usable okay that's not uh so common right so we say instead of unbeautiful we say awful that's beautiful but that's awful okay you see we have to add those uh, words to our vocabulary and be careful when we use the adjectives okay some of them you can uh transform the positive into negative, just using the prefix, right? This prefix, an or this, correct? Or n also, right? We can use that. Now, this is just for you to know. But now let's go to the topic for today. And let me, please, the first thing that I want to do, it is taking the attendance because you were not here. Uh, so I didn't want to waste my time. Okay, but it is important for me to take the attendance attendance at eight. Remember, tomorrow I'm going to take the attendance at eight p.m. Only today I gave you the opportunity. Okay, now let's see. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Now let's see, Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay. One second. Today is the sixth. There we are. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. 
Present teacher. Okay, there you are. Elvia Yanet Beltrán Cabrera de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla María. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Okay. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Ok, there we are. Ok, let's continue today with the topic. Ok, the topic for today is Karen. Yes, tell me, Sandra. I am present. <laughs> okay, let's see, Sandrita. Okay. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Taking, okay, I'm taking note about that. One moment, I'm checking, checking, checking. I don't know why it moves today. It moves today. Okay, thank you, Sandra. I checked you in. There we are. Do you know what gerunds are? What gerunds, gerunds? Do you know about gerunds? Gerunds? No, I'm not a gerunds teacher. Okay. No ideas at the moment? Hello, Francisco? Oh, yes, that's in Spanish. But can you uh, define just giving a, giving a little explanation or example in English? Uh, don't remember this. Yeah. Okay. Don't remember, but, uh, I... but yes, you are correct in Spanish. It's the same in Spanish, okay? Let's see. We are going to our manuals. Okay, we are going to our manuals, and uh, let me get there because it's very important in uh, in normal in normal conversations in common conversations. We are always using this. Okay, let me get. There. Okay. Something's happening with my computer. Want to go there. Okay. There I have it. Gerunds are words or the verbs that end with ing. Okay. Do you see the bold words here? The words in bold? Do you see them? ING at the end. Those are gerunds. We're going to know the use of them. Okay. Now let me let me re, let me read this conversation. Okay, this is the situation. These two uh, men are talking about cash flow. Okay, cash flow. 
they want to do something, okay? But they are talking about uh, the situation of money in their, in their company. So let's see here, how do they use the ing form of the verbs? And then we are going to see the vocabulary here, okay? Let's see, Hugo and Milton, they are talking in their company. So let's see, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, let's read it again. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn, guys. Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Uh, yes, teacher. What is the meaning of concern? Concern that he's worried. Okay. He's worried. He's thinking worried. Hmm? He's not so sure about doing something. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Uh, also, what is the meaning of raw material? Raw material is the materials, materials that you use to produce some other product. For example, the raw material for a blouse is fabric. Okay? Raw material. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. the explanation. Mm -hmm. Any other question, guys? What is target? Can you tell me what target is? Rosa? Yes, yes, ours. Target. Target. What is target? What target. What is the meaning of target? Uh, I know. I know. Uh, target teacher. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. Target. I don't know. Target. Okay. Don't target. Know. Uh, does any one of you know what target is? Uh, I have an idea. Excuse me? Objective? Objective, correct. Objective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goal. Goal, too. Mm -hmm. yes. Goal, objective. Our, our objective this mom. Okay. Our target this mom. Okay. What is incomes? Sandrita, what is incomes? What does it mean? Incomes and outcomes. What are those movements? What are those words? 
referring to? Incomes and outcomes. Anyone? Help Sandrita, please. Uh, some, como adentro o afuera? Yeah, but something. What? What is income? Money. 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 Money that you get and money that you spend. Okay? Money that you get and money that you spend. So it means incomes and outcomes. Okay? For example, your, your income is your salary. Okay? And your outcome is everything that you buy for your family okay that those are outcomes incomes your salary so in this case what are they going to do ah they are going to analyze and they are going to keep the track on the incomes and outcomes okay they are talking about the cash flow cash flow okay those are the movements of cash flow okay del flujo de, de la caja right del flujo del efectivo there you go so now let's see we are going to repeat okay you repeat after me so everyone or activate your audios and let's read the sales were not so good this month the sellers were not so good this month. this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Okay, it's not target, it's target. Get, okay? Target. Okay, let's read it again. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Do you have any idea about what to do? Okay. Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track. Okay, let's read this all together, okay? It says, first, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. Sure. Sure. Uh, analyzing and keeping track on the income and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. Okay, great. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Also, I'm um, interested in buying raw materials. Yes. Um, also, also, I am interested in buying materials. raw materials. Buying raw materials. So we save more money. So we no, save more, more money. money. However, I prefer getting a bound low on for that. Oh, well, I'm getting a that I count for that. But I know, I know that, that we can, can pay it with the income we get. But we can pay it with the income we get. I'm concerned about asking for money. I'm concerned, I'm concerned about, about, asking about asking for money. I'm concerned about but, asking for money. But so, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay. That's a very good um, expression to try it out. 
try it out. Okay. Try it out. Try it out. Okay, now let's listen to Elvia and Leslie. Elvia is Hugo and Milton is Leslie. Okay. The scientists were not so good this month. The room for increase or sales in all target target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sir, first analyzing and keeping track on the income and outcome have to be mandatory of each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm starting in buying raw material so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bulk loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I am concerned about asking for money, but let's treat it out. Okay, good. Now let's hear, let's hear Rita and Carla. Okay, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, and I inserted in buying raw materials so we sell more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I concern about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, good. Now, let's see, let's see, please. We are going to read the conversation and we are going to answer these three questions, okay? We are going to read the conversation and then we are going to answer these three questions. Let's take two minutes to read. Everybody reading right now. I want to see you, please um, turn on your cameras. I want to see you reading, okay? Reading the conversation, everyone.
Okay, dear students, let's start answering each question. Okay, let's read this instruction. Activity three. Read the conversation again. We read it to answer the questions. Number one, can you read the first question, Sandra, please? Uh, question one? Yes, please. What is your objective this month? Okay, what is their objective this month? Everybody thinking and giving answers. Teacher, mm -hmm. I think the object this one is increasing sales. Okay. Okay. Increasing sales. Please take, take note about this typo. Do you see the word here, there? Do you see this word, there? It's not correct. Please take note. And the correct word is there. Okay. Like this, there. Do you see? This is this. Si se entiende, chicos? Please correct this typo. Por favor, corrijan eso. Okay. This word is not correct. The correct word is there. Okay, question number two. Can Fausto read it, please? What are, what are some steps they want to follow? Okay, what are some steps? Let's see who wants to answer. I think... Uh, Analyzing and uh, keeping track. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keeping track of what? Uh huh. Keeping track of. Mm -hmm. Incomes and outcomes. and outcomes. Okay. Keeping track. Okay. What else do, do you think they want to do? Mm 
They say first, right? So that's a step, correct? Buying raw materials. Okay. Second will be, right? Second. Second step will be buying raw materials. Um, what for? To save more money. Okay. What else do they want to do? Uh huh. Get in a bank loan. Okay. What that? This is to have cash, right? To have cash. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is the first step, then the second step, and the third step. Okay. Carlos Antonio, can you read question number three, please? Okay, teacher. What is one of them worried about? Okay. What do you think, Silvia? Um, they are worried about uh, asking for money. Okay, let's use the information in the question. One of them, One of them is worried. Is worried about asking for money. Okay. There you go. So this is answer number three. Okay. Do you have any question about what we said at the moment? Oh, okay, Edward. Now I know. Okay. Okay, Fausto. Bless you. Okay. No question at the moment so far? So good. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see the use of these words, okay? But let me let me go there and get it. One moment. Okay, these are the gerunds, okay? In the conversation, in the conversation, there were some of them, like increase, analyze, keep, buy, get, ask, think. Ah, okay, they are actions, they are verbs. Let's transform these verbs into gerunds. Can you help me, please? What will be the gerund of increase? Ah, it will be increasing. increasing. Okay. The spelling here, you see, let's take care of that. Be careful. We 
drop letter E and use ing. We I. drop it. We drop it. We cut it from there, right? Now, next one. Analyze. Analyze. What is the gerund? Analyze. Analyze. Okay. Analyzing. Analyzing. Okay. We drop letter E and add ing. No letter E here. Do you see? No letter E. Only ing at the end. Okay. Next. Keeping. Mm -hmm. Keeping. Okay. Keeping. Just let me remember something. Do you see here about keeping? There you go. Uh huh. Keeping. It's a step. Okay. This is a step. Now let's continue. This. These are steps. Analyzing and keeping are steps in the cash flow cycle. We are going to talk about that later. Okay. Let's see. Buy. 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 Buying. Okay. I'm going to use capital letter just it, uh, for the order. Okay. We'll be buying. There you go. Now, with this verb, when we write it or the spelling is double letter T, okay? Double letter T. Get, excellent. Remember, getting is double T. Getting double T. Okay. Ask. Asking. Asking, good. Think. Thank you. Think. Okay. Do you see? Now we know where these verbs are coming from, right? The infinitive form of the verb is this one, increase. And the gerund form of the verb is adding ing. So increase, increasing. Analyze, analyzing, okay? Keep, keeping. Buy, buying. Get, getting. Ask, asking. Think, thinking. So everybody, please activate your audio and we are going to repeat, okay? Increase. Increase. Increasing. Analyze. Analyze. Analyzing. Analyzing. Keep. Keep. Keeping. 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 Buy. 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 Buying. Buy. Get. 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 Getting. Getting. Ask. Ask, 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 asking, ask, asking, asking, think, 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 thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, now let's go and see some other difference. These are different, and you know these verbs. Okay, now you are going to tell me the ing form of each verb. Okay, let's see. Number one. Calling. 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 Okay. Calling. Excellent. Calling. Next one. Speaking. 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 Okay. Next one. Dry. Driving. Driving. Good. We drop letter E. Do you see? We drop letter E and add ING. Okay. Type. Type in. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? It doesn't look like mine. I 
I'm having trouble with the control keys for the short, short methods. Los métodos abreviados del teclado, chicos. El control Z no me funciona. I don't know why. No, no, no. Okay, there we are. Okay, let's see. Type typing. Okay, typing. We drop letter E. Correct. Read. Reading. Reading. Okay, mm -hmm. we just add ing. Right. Eat. Eating. Eating. Okay. Have. Having. Having. Having and we drop letter E. Correct? Are we okay with this? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. We are going to do something funny tonight. We are going to do mimics, okay? Mimics. No. Let's see, everybody turn on your cameras. And let's see, for example, Walter is going to do a mimic and Rita is going to guess what action is he doing, okay? For example, I'm going to start with number one. I mean, any verb. I'm going to choose the verb, okay? I'm not going to say it's number one, it's number two. No, no, no. I'm just going to say, okay? Then I'm going to do this. You guess. What Call am I doing? Yes, I'm calling. calling. Yeah, I'm calling. Good, good. Excellent. Now, let's see. You got the idea? One is going yes, to do the mimic. Okay, we cannot use only pairs. One of you is going to do the mimic, and all of us are going to uh, answer or to guess. Okay, let's see. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Francisco. Everybody watching Francisco. It's reading. Reading. He is reading. Yeah, he is reading. Excellent. Next. Okay, go ahead, Rosa. What is she doing? Drinking. Great. Very good. Very good. She's taking advantage, right? <laughs> Se está aprovechando. She's taking advantage. <laughs> Coffee. Chocolate. Hot chocolate. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. Who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? Rita, do you want to do a mimic? And okay. we're going to see you. Okay. Calling. She's calling. She's calling. Yay. Oh, she's speaking. Yes, yeah, she's speaking. <laughs> okay, Walter, do a mimic. <clears throat> Is he doing the mimic? Uh, listening? Walter, can you hear us? Excuse me, teacher. Oigo mucho entrecortado, no, no logro escuchar mucho oh. que están hablando. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Let's see, Leslie. Okay. 
Ah, you're taking it back. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> uh huh. Eating. 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 Yeah. So let's see. Sandra, do a mimic. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Sleeping, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's see, Fausto. Can you do a mimic? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. Nice. Edward, please do a mimic. Driving. Okay, Driving. good. I thought you were a pilot. <laughs> yeah, like this. Good. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Francisco is calling. Oh, yeah, Francisco is calling. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who wants to? Who wants to go next with the mimics? Carlos Antonio. Okay, teacher. Oh, okay, he's speaking. speaking. He's speaking. <laughs> okay, very good. Speaking. Good, good, good. He's speaking. Very good. So now we, we know how to um, use, in this case, gerunds. Now we know what gerunds are, okay? Gerunds are the verbs that N and ing right ing those are gerunds now let's go to our manual again okay teacher, let's teacher, yes tell me and, and question yes and all 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 verbs we when we use our verbs as ing is a gerund yes yes they are gerunds yeah they are called gerunds but um now we're going to see one of the uses, okay? Because not always they are verbs like verbs because they become in another part of the sentence. So we're going to see in our manual the way that they are using it in the conversation, okay? Now let's go to the manual. And in our manual, we're going to see that there are three ways, okay? Three ways, just let me put this thing right here. I think I have to move this. Okay, one moment, I'm going to do it better from another way. I think here it is good. Maybe here is better. There we are. Okay, let me share this for you. Here we can find, oh, just one other moment. Here we can find the uses, okay? how to use gerunds, how to use gerunds. Now we know that the gerunds are those verbs that takes the ending ing, right? Now let's see when or how can we use this form 
Ah, we can use them as subjects. Subjects. It means like a noun, okay? Like a noun. Subjects like a noun. For example, increasing, ah, that's the name of the action. That's the name of the action. So as subjects, we use ing, okay? Increasing our sales is mandatory. Producing high quality goods it's, is our target. Producing high quality goods is our target. This is as subjects. Now let's see. We have to use ing verb form after some verbs. After some verbs. We have to be careful with this because, for example, we have this verb. This verb is very interesting. Very interesting because after or following that verb, we have to use a gerund, okay? I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. Now, let's see, we could use ing after the verb like, the verb help, for example, but also dislike, okay? Dislike is the opposite of like. So we are going to use ing, form of the verb, after this verb. I dislike firing employees due to low incomes. I dislike firing employees due to low incomes. Now we are going to see also that we use gerunds after prepositions, after prepositions. What is the preposition here? Which one is it? It is in, in. Here we have another preposition, about, about. We could also say that another preposition that we um, that we use. Okay, at and on. Okay, these are the most common. These are the most common. At on in about. Okay, at on in about. Now, let's see, for example, I could say, Carlos is good at accounting, okay? Or we could say he is good at numbers, okay? Carlos is good at numbers. This is a noun. Okay, this is a noun here. Do you see? Now, let's think about what does he likes to do. Ah, let's see. Or he is good at, okay. Carlos is good at working with numbers, okay. So we use ing form of the verb. Do you see? I know that Carlos is good at numbers, but does he like to work? Uh, does he like working with numbers? Yes, right? Because he's good at working with numbers. Now let's see. We can ask, does Carlos like working? with numbers, okay? Do you see, we have a verb. And after this verb, like, we use ing verb form. 
Okay. After a preposition, we use ing form. But we could use this as a noun too. As a noun. How? Let's see here. A subject. As a subject. We could say working with numbers is Carlos uh, passion. Okay. Okay. You see? Okay. Here we're using. Okay, this is the affirmation that we did first. What that we did first. Now, if you see in this sentence, we are using ing after at. ing after a preposition. Here we use a gerund after a verb. And here we are using they. ING form of the verb as a subject. Correct? Do you see? We use ING after prepositions, after some verbs, and as a subject. Correct? Now, to understand this better, we are going to practice. Okay? And we are going to work in pairs, okay? It says, complete the conversations with the gerund forms of the verbs. What are the gerund forms? Ask, can you tell me the, the gerund form? Asking. asking. Asking, okay. Then you are not going to use ask. You are going to use asking, okay? The gerund for, form of give is? Giving. Giving. Mm -hmm. Remember to drop letter E, okay? Pay. Okay. Have Pay. Providing. Providing. Okay. Double T when we write it. Uh huh. Hiding. Hiding. Hiring. Hiring. Hiring, hiring, and we drop letter E, okay? And here? Failing. Failing. Okay, I'm going to divide the group into groups, into pairs, okay? And you are going to write the corresponding gerund form in each blank, okay? There we are. Any questions? No questions? There you are.
Bye. Ya. Ana at do we start having to Christmas with oh I prefer paying no sería Mane paying And and a number B, letter B, letter B. I prefer I prefer paid than to work one more quit plus a bonus. Paying. Asking number two, little A. Uh, are you in a number out? Then a question number two. Here you. And uh, are you interested in? Um, no, I joined this in new idea for No, sería como give or giving, 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 o pro. Providing, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Providing. Providing. <laughs> Providing. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I was having problem with my audio here. Okay. Uh, yes, it is providing. Providing. Yeah, providing. Providing. Mm -hmm. Providing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Providing is the pronunciation. It's not. I'm not saying that if it is correct or not. Okay. <laughs> Como proporcionar. Yeah, but also pay. Are, are they talking about the salary? Oh. It, new new ideas for product. Oh, okay. Mm, yes, providing. But let's read the answer because the answer says uh, the clue of what they are talking about. Yes, I am. They say, he says, do you have, do you have, do you have what? New ideas, right? I love, I love. Okay. Then you could see if it is giving. Yeah. Or... Uh, having yeah but having is that you already uh, get them right maybe que se le están ocurriendo right so getting getting yeah getting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. getting yeah, something like that mm -hmm. what do you think why do you think it's better or do you agree? 
Yes, getting. Okay. And number three. Ahí no se le peguen, no será cel, cel, no peguen. I think paying is the correct one. What do you think? They're talking about salaries. What do we do with salaries? Paying. Okay. No, in little b. Number two, little b. I love. Uh, you said getting. I era getting. Yes, there it was. <laughs> yes. No, but in a. And a question number one, dijimos having. Having? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y Pay. I prefer, I prefer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Paying. Pusimos paying. Sí, pero ya la cambiamos porque la acabamos de ocupar. Acá y creo que está una por cada, un, un verbo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, exactly. por cada. Exactly. It's one verb for each space. Uh, I prefer. I think I see you're, you're doing a great job. So I'm going to another group, okay? Don't get Thank nervous. <laughs> Don't get nervous. <laughs> Be confident. Okay, bye. Bye. a mi casa y me conecto al inter de la casa. Ok. <risa> Aquí sí. I'm going to come back later also, okay, Albia? Okay. I'm going to another uh, room. Pero lo, lo, lo último has to be. Has to be, uh, has to be another one. I prefer, you know, aquí en la P, uh, the first, uh, I selling. Find salaries to employees. Each month is our. This is fine. I totally agree with what why that. With that um, what you worry about. See. And you. Word over sobre swelling sobre la venta. Mm, I think uh, asking. Mm. 
for 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 a uh, number three uh, letter b and to totally agree with that besides as the new worker has to be another one asking What do you think, Rosa? The first hearing, the, the first hearing, uh, A. Uh, I prefer is Jerry. Jerry, Larry B. Besides getting. Uh -huh. Larry B. Larry B. Getting. Let's see. No, really. I am more concerned about. No, in realidad, yo estoy más concentrado en sobre sobre los nuevos productos de Pipe Plies. Yes, it's, it's getting gross. Yeah, selling. Uh, selling? Yes, because when you sell a product, you get money, and that's what they want, right? In number three, teacher. Yes, I am. Do you have the I love selling? Uh, wait for me just a moment because someone is calling here also, Maria Fernanda, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, one moment. Okay. Just a question, Maria Fernanda was we, uh, uh, with you at the beginning? Estaba aquí Maria Fernanda al principio? No. Uh, no. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Just let me go there because I can't. You continue, guys. Just I'm trying to I'm trying to locate Maria Fernanda. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. No more concert about the new products to buy employees. Are you worried about? Uh, Are you worried about? Okay, let's continue. I assigned her, but I don't know if she was able to to come to this group. Okay, let's continue. What were you, I'm sorry, what was your question, Fausto? Uh, the number, question three. Number three. Let's see. Number three, number three. Uh, Letter B, I totally agree with that. Besides, uh -huh, if the first one was paying, and letter A was paying, 
salaries to employees each month is our priority, right? Then new workers. What do we do with new workers? I, uh... Let's use a verb that we usually use with new workers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, uh, the word is getting. Uh, worker. Workers, uh, new, new, new workers, what the compañero is. Aha, uh -huh, but why you, no, yeah, no. New workers is, is. New employees. New employees, yes. New employees, uh-huh. Maria Fernanda couldn't connect to your group. I don't know why, because I sent her the invitation for, I mean, twice, and she couldn't get connected. She wasn't able to. Okay, we are in number, what number are we? Yeah. Yeah, for new, new workers. Ah, new yeah, workers. Yeah. Okay, hiring. what do we do? Hiring. Hiring. Yes, hiring. Hiring. Uh, hiring. New employees. Okay. Yes. New hiring. Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Hiring. Hiring. Fausto. Hiring. Uh, mm -hmm. Three, three, little B. Okay. Uh, little B, little, little A, uh, pay. Yes. Pay salaries. Yes, uh, that's what we do with salaries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the four uh, A, are you worried about? Mm, I think it is asking. Asking? Mm -hmm. Okay, you are doing a good job. I'm going to another group, okay? Continue, okay, keep, keep working. There you go. No, really, I... You got disconnected, Leslie. Yes, teacher. Okay, but now they are coming back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Uh, what number were you in? What number of sentence were you uh, answering? In the exercise. Mm -hmm. Eh, como voy entrando, teacher, no sé qué estaban bien. Ok, we were in an exercise. Ok. We were, uh, now I understand what happened because, yeah, you and Maria Fernanda and Carlos, you were disconnected, right? Because I had to reassign you yeah. into a new group. Ok, then. Let's continue. Let's continue. We are in the exercise in our manuals. Let me go there, okay? Let me go get it. Mm, again, 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 the, the same problem as before. Here it is. Should be sharing now. 
There we are. Okay, people. Let's see. Number one, what do we have to do here? We have to write the correct ing form of the verb. So, ing form of the verb is the gerund form. Gerund form. Number one, letter A. What do you think? What did you write? Having. Having. Okay. Are you sure? For me, yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to see we can use another one, okay? But let's continue here. Next one. This is what you wrote. Yes. What do you think? We put having. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, let's write the next one according Carlos. Are you interested in what? Providing. Mm, okay, and next one, uh, letter B. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love. Giving. Again? Giving. Uh, okay. Now, let's see. We're going to leave it here, Carlos, and uh, let's see. Okay. Can you tell me, uh, I mean, apart, Carlos, okay? Can you tell me if number one is correct? What do you think? We are talking about these two Christmas weeks off. Okay. What do we do in a company if we are bu the boss, you are the boss, and you are talking to... In the meeting, okay, with the supervisors, for example, and you start asking, do we start, uh-huh, what do you think? Do we start giving, okay? Do we start giving to Christmas wakes up? I prefer paying them, paying them, okay? To work one more week plus a bonus. They are talking about money here, you see? That's the key word. So paying, it's the most closer answer, right? So I prefer paying them, paying them. Okay, now what? Uh, sorry. We cannot do here. Oh, yeah. We do. It doesn't give it. It doesn't give it to me. Okay, let's go. Paying. I prefer paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Okay, let's go to next one. Providing. Do you think providing is okay here? Or do you have any other idea? Who wants to give me another idea? Providing. Providing. 
Okay, I feel the answer of letter B is that that person is offering, offering the ideas, right? Offering the ideas. Do you see? Because letter B, the, the answer of letter B gives the idea that letter A is offering the ideas, right? So I think, I'm sorry, it doesn't get it correctly. There we are. There we are. I think, okay, letter A, oh. letter A is offering, offering, giving some ideas. And letter A is asking, are you interested in having new ideas for products? And letter B answers, oh, yes, I'm interested in having those new ideas. Do you have? I love what? I love. Getting some new, right? Some new ideas. Okay. I love getting some. Does it make sense? What do you think? Does it make sense? ¿Les hace sentido? Does it make sense? Yes, right? So let's go to number three. Number three. What do you think, Rosa, in number three? Uh, paying. paying. Okay, paying. Paying. Mm -hmm. Paying. We used paying over here, right? We used paying. So we could use another one here. Okay. Providing. Providing. Okay. Providing. Okay. Yeah. Providing could be good because we used paid already. Paying. Okay. There we are. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. If we say paying, I think it will be uh, acceptable too, but uh, paying is better over here, okay? So, and letter B in the answer, I totally agree with that. Besides, new workers has to be another one. Hiring. Hiring, yeah, it sounds good. It sounds very good, hiring. There you go. Besides, hiring new workers has to be another one. Okay. Number four. What do you think about Asking. number four? Asking. 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 Okay. Asking. Good. And what will be the last one? Calling. Good. Selling. Okay. There we are. There we finish. Okay. What do you think? Any question at the moment? Questions? The moment, no teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Anyone else? Another video I can see. Excuse me? Otro video que tengo que ver, le digo. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry for that. Yes, you're right. But this is very interesting because the topic for today, it was gerunds. And we did a feedback about the adjectives at the beginning. So it's going to complement. Yeah, to complement. Teacher. Both. Yes, tell me. If I have a, a question during I see the, or I watch the, the, the video, I can ask you for WhatsApp. Yes, yes, sure, no yeah. problem. Yes, you may. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can ask me. 
Thanks. Anytime you can send me the question and when I see it, then I uh, figure out the answer and then I answer okay. to you, okay? I reply. So, okay, guys, at this moment, are we okay with everything we have seen or do you have any other question? At this moment, okay. Now. Let me tell you about the homework on the platform. Please go and do your homework. Um, one thing that it's very important is the um, attendance. So tonight I'm going to try, I'm going to try to, uh, to see your person, uh, I mean, the percentage of each one. And then I'm going to tell you how is it going, okay? But my best advice is that please keep attending the class, okay? Keep attending the class and try to be on time, okay? Try to be on time. We have only Friday and Tuesday because on Monday we are not having class, okay? Or video conference. Um, there are two questions on the platform. I need you to go to the platform Abrí dos discusiones ahí y ustedes pueden entrar en un momento que tengan su chance para practicar y dar respuestas o opiniones acerca de lo que he puesto ahí. The first one is about describing a product, ¿ok? Cuando nosotros descubrimos, des, perdón, describimos un producto que es de la unidad 1. Do you remember? Entonces, the question that I have there is, for example, what size of a cell phone do you prefer when you go to buy one? Okay, then you please answer and give opinions about that. Why do you like the um, big screens or small or, okay? Then you, you tell something over there. And there is another one. Hay otra, otra ahí acerca de cuando nosotros pedimos un aumento de salario, okay? Les gustaría pedir un aumento de salario. Then I'm going to send a video to the group, to the chat, for you to get an idea and go to the platform and give an opinion, okay? Y den una opinión. Tienen todo el fin de semana para poder hacerlo, okay? Todo el fin de semana ustedes miran el video, la, la disfrutan, ¿verdad? El tema acerca de pedir un aumento, cómo pedir un aumento de salario y dan su opinión, ¿ok? Va, esas son las dos cosas que hay ahí en la plataforma que ustedes las pueden hacer en su momento cuando ustedes quieran. Esas no llevan, no, no llevan nota, pero eso no quiere decir que no se toma en cuenta su participación. Lo toma en cuenta la plataforma, ¿ok? Ahí hace su su, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Su registro, ¿verdad? De que usted participó. Muy bien. Time is over. Class is dismissed. And we are meeting tomorrow. Uh, just one thing. Ahora le toca a Walter, ¿verdad? A Walter le toca hoy, ¿sí? Sí. A Walter Mauricio le toca el día de hoy. Do you want to stay uh, with me tonight or do you want to leave? But tell me, tell me. Do you have questions, Walter? Are you staying with me? Si se va a quedar a la asesoría? Tiene yes, preguntas? Yes, no okay. Okay, then, yes. everybody, have a good night and let's meet us tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, bye bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay, hello, Walter. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me. You, uh, en, el, en el tema que acabamos de ver. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in number three, a mm -hmm. salary the employer is small or very big. Uh-huh. Los salarios, los salarios de los trabajadores es una prioridad para nosotros, algo así. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It has to Por be mes, providing. 
Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué podemos usar también pagar los salarios de los empleados para tener una propiedad? Yes, that's yes, true. It's correct. It is correct. It is correct. But it makes more sense if you say providing because of the answer. Because the answer of the other person is um, like if they are thinking about an a strategy, okay, or something like that, or priorities, priorities. Mm, so uh, providing, providing is the process of getting that money and have it handy at uh, the time that they have to pay, right? At the time that you have to pay. So yes, you can use paying, but the best word I think will be providing. Mm -hmm. It's valid. Yes, it's valid. Uh, Excuse me. You can show and show. Can, can you write it on the chat? Because I can't get it. I can barely hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so we use it to emphasize. I mean, to, um, para decirlo más bonito o más, con más fuerza, okay? When you are describing somebody or, or anything or something, and you say a quality of that thing or about that person, you use an adjective, right? An adjective means that, for example, the color or if the person is, is a good person or if it is a bad person. So I'm going to write on the chat, okay, the answer for that. So goes before an adjective. And I will give you an example. For example, I will say, this computer is so slow, okay? So slow. Uh, I'm going to, to type it again, okay? This computer is so slow, okay? Yo puedo sustituir esa palabra so por la palabra very, ¿ok? Podría sustituirla para que le dé una idea a usted del significado de so en este caso, right? Very, it means really slow, more than the average, ¿ok? Más que las computadoras promedio, ¿verdad? Then it's very slow, but we use so, to emphasize, to emphasize, okay? This computer is so slow. Now, what if I use such? I'm going to say it in a very specific way, okay? Um, this is such a slow computer, okay? This is such a slow computer. This is such a slow computer. It's emphasizing too. Estas dos Ajá, palabras son este, para hacer énfasis. Ok. En la, en la primera, this computer is so slow. En español, ¿cómo se diría? Ah, en Spanish, it will be, esta computadora es bien lenta. <laughs> ok, no, I'm no. going to translate in the correct Spanish. Ok, porque decimos, es que esto está bien lento usted. No, no right? Like that, right? Uh -huh. Pero that's the idea. Pero digamos la, la traducción sería, esta computadora es 
muy lenta o tan lenta. Wow. Okay? Muy lenta o tan lenta. Ok. Ese es so slow. Is so slow. Is so slow computer? Such a so slow, slow computer. Este es como decir única en su especie, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Como decir, this is such a slow computer. Todavía, de veras que, que esta sí que es bien lenta, ¿ok? Este pedazo de máquina es bien lento, right? <laughs> ok, nosotros lo diríamos así en nuestro idioma, ¿eh? Nosotros lo diríamos así. Pero lo, lo formal... Okay. Lo formal es esto. This is such a slow computer. Esto es como decir, uh, esta es una computadora tan lenta. Casi es el mismo significado de la de arriba. ¿Ok? Solo que gramaticalmente, okay. el orden de las palabras es así. ¿Ok? No puede okay. poner, okay. No, no puede poner so en un, diferen, en un diferente orden. Solo en este orden. Ok, el orden es que the order is that the adjective goes after so. Only. Ok. Este, este, y. Uh, uh -huh. no, pues, este. Esto solo es gramática, teacher. Uh, no. Es que no, no, no. O, o a la hora, por ejemplo, si yo le quiero, estoy en una conversación y yo le quiero It's decir. It's very como, common. Es con, o sea, es correcto. Yes, eh, it is. Try. It's Entonces, everyday English. Ah. It's everyday English. What I am teaching is the ah. order of the words. Okay. What I'm teaching is the order of the words. Lo que yo le estoy enseñando es el orden de las palabras. Okay. Why? Because ah. no vamos a utilizar such si no hay un nombre acá o una cosa acá o una persona, o un animal, uh -huh. acá. Si no está un nombre, a noun, no puedo usar such. Eh, usaría uh -huh. so. ¿Ok? Usaría so with the adjective, ¿ok? The computer is so, and the adjective is slow. Now, let's see another example. Can you think about another example? Excuse me, excuse me. Can you think about another example? Okay. Uh, this uh, this car is so beautiful. Okay. This car is so beautiful, right? Okay. Then, for example, if we are... Yes, it is correct. We have an adjective and so. That's correct. Now, let's think. Let's think about that car. And we want to emphasize that. And it's the... Um, that's a very um, beautiful car in into maybe you are choosing three models, for example. Let's think a trademark, Alfa Romeo, for example. You could say, uh, this oh. is such a beautiful car. Wow, this is so beautiful. Estamos diciendo casi lo mismo. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, los énfasis son como bien específicos. O sea, como... Sí, podríamos usar la palabra específicos. ¿Verdad? This car is so beautiful. Ajá, Pero this bien, car... Bien. This car... This car puede ser... Uh, que tú estés hablando... En, que usted esté hablando en general. Eh, de una marca, por ejemplo. Nissan o oh, whatever, okay. right? And you say, oh, this car is so beautiful. Or that car is so beautiful. Que estamos hablando de una, de todos los carros de esa marca. We could say. Uh -huh. Ahora, si hablamos de 
Sí, el porque carro, yo estoy en el carro, pero no sé de ningún. ajá, por ejemplo, si decimos, bueno, en este también podemos usarlo así, con such, por ejemplo, si yo digo, ah, es que todos los Nissan, ah, Nissan es such a beautiful car, ok, Nissan, oh, Nissan, okay. ya, yeah. estamos hablando de, por decir así, la especie de los carros Nissan, <ríe> o algo así. Sí, sí, correcto. Pero Como específicamente también tiene el mismo sentido. Ajá, también eh, tiene el mismo sentido. Si, um, sí. si estoy hablando de un carro específico, mío o suyo, right? O de un amigo. Uh -huh. You are talking about a car with a friend, then you could say, hey, this car is so beautiful, man. Okay, or maybe with oh, your wife, okay. you want to buy a car. For example, you want to buy a car with your wife and you say, eh, but this is a beautiful car. I'm, I'm sorry, this is such a beautiful car. Okay, you want to emphasize that you like that car. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Este, también lo último que me hizo, a mí se me está cortando hoy. Se me ha cortado, hay palabras que no las he escuchado. Okay. Este, cuando, cuando me preguntó algo sobre qué estaban hablando, sinceramente no, en el tema que yo le dije, este, tengo entreportado, no sé qué es lo que estaban hablando. Oh, es hablaron. que estábamos, te lo, se lo voy a poner en el chat también, estábamos haciendo mímicas. Ok. Estaban haciendo qué? Mímicas. Señas. Oh. Yo, yeah. yo a lo lejos entendía que decía, Mendes, Mendes. <laughs> And y you so was laughing, laughing. No, no, no. Okay. Por eso no. Estaban haciendo mímicas. Yes, we were doing mimics. Bien, lo que estaba en la pantalla. Correct. For example, you did a mimic, uh, someone did a mimic and everyone was guessing, okay, what he was uh, doing yeah for example rosa uh, said drinking right entonces nosotros dijimos uh, okay. everybody answer drinking and leslie uh, leslie's uh, leslie got the bread um right and we said eating yeah that's what you I thought eat. that we I were eat. talking about <laughs> okay ¿Será que están haciendo memes? No sé si... <risa> okay. Lo otro que le quería preguntar es que lo Ajá. último hoy que dijo, que tenemos que entrar a la plataforma el fin de semana y entrar a dónde, dijo. Ahí en donde dice discusión. Abajo dice, ah, di oh, sí. arriba también en la línea de la barra de menú, ahí va a encontrar donde dice discussion. Ok, discusión. Ahí entra okay. y va a encontrar dos. Dos preguntas, o sea, son dos actividades diferentes. Una que está ahí desde hace unos días y otra que está de este día. Haga las dos. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Bueno, eso yo lo hago al fin. Ajá, Cuando exacto. Voy. Pero okay. voy a mandarles, voy a mandarles un video para que les complemente el contenido y puedan tener opinión para hablar acerca de cómo pedir un aumento salarial en inglés. Oh, o sea, de un solo cutting, yeah. <risa> no, no, es que en ah, la cultura ah, americana ah. eso es muy normal. En la cultura americana es muy normal que usted vaya y pida un aumento. Ah. En, nos, en nuestra cultura aumento, es así como ah, que ya sí. los, lo tienen señalizado, right? Yeah, you're right. <risa> y, y, este, y, este, y este se quiere ir, ya. Ah, no. come on. <risa> Fila hay <risa> ahí. <risa> Aquí mucho ticho. Ok, ten. Ok, ¿es there any other question that you have? No, thank you. Ok. Mm, hold store. Ok, then. It okay. was my pleasure. So, have a good night and have a good thank rest. So Let's meet us tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. Mm. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.